Meanwhile, John, Democrats are fighting for a path forward on their bid to overhaul U.S. elections despite not having enough votes to do so. In order to pass this sweeping measure, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer is now urging his colleagues to support changing the filibuster, a key Senate rule. House Majority Whip James Clyburn weighed in on Fox News Sunday. Listen. I have said that the filibuster ought not be applied to constitutional issues like voting. We do not allow the filibuster to get in the way of the full faith and credit of the United States of America because it would jeopardize uh, the future of this country. All right, so let's bring in Byron York, chief political correspondent for The Washington and Examiner and a Fox News contributor. Great to have you here, Byron. An incredibly important issue, and it appears that Chuck Schumer is now forcing members of his party to pick a side on this issue, going farther than we have seen him go before on it. Where does it go? Probably nowhere. I mean, the, the Democrats' biggest mm -hmm. problem has always been uh, in this last year that they do not control a majority of seats in the U.S. Senate. It's a 50-50 tie. They have to depend on Vice President Harris to break a tie. So to do this, when every single Republican opposes them, they have to get all 50 of their members together to vote and then have Vice President Harris break the tie. Right now, we know that Senators Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema oppose getting rid of the legislative filibuster. Uh, we think that there are others who are very nervous about that because they know they're going to be uh, in the minority someday and the, and the filibuster will come in handy to stop Republican uh, measures. So Schumer has a very, very hard time getting this done. Not to mention how far he has come on this issue since back in <laughs> 2003 and 2005. Play the tape. We are defending the Constitution. We are saying there should be some balance. They want to make this country into a banana republic, where if you don't get your way, you change the rules. It'll be a doomsday for democracy. A doomsday <laughs> for democracy. Yeah. And here yeah, we sorry. are today. Such a change of heart. Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to laugh, not to laugh about that. And by the way, that was back in 2005. And if you say, well, gee, that was a long time ago. In 2017, in the Trump administration, tw uh, 32, 32 uh, Democratic senators signed an open letter uh, opposing any changes in the legislative filibuster. They have turned on a dime uh, on this to try mm. to get their current agenda done. Uh, and th the question is, is any of this pressure they're using going to actually work on Manchin and Cinema? So far, uh, it hasn't, because they know, like everybody, every other senator should, that they'll be in the minority again soon enough. It's just a reminder, as you just mentioned, the current balance of power, put it up on the screen, with having Kamala Harris need to be the tiebreaker in all this, and having Democrats holding a, a narrow Senate majority, considering that point. Uh, if this were to happen, if the filibuster were eliminated, does this allow them, and let's, let's keep in mind that you said this is unlikely, but if they were able to, does this mean that they could go on and pass more bills and enact a whole lot more change? What's Absolutely. If they could get, if there were no legislative filibuster and all 50 Democrats agreed on some measure and of course, there is a Democratic president to sign a bill they may send. And there's a Democratic House, tiny majority there, but it's a, a Democratic House. Uh, sure, they could pass all sorts of things. They could add states. Uh, they could uh, uh, increase the size of the Supreme Court. They could do all of those things if they were united. And that, by the way, is one of the threats that Republicans are making to Democrats. If you kill the filibuster now, there will come a time when there's a Republican House and Senate and a Republican president. Mm. And we can pass all sorts of pro-life measures, pro-gun measures, all sorts of things that Democrats hate and have used the filibuster to stop in the past. They won't be able to stop it in the future. So th there, there are really kind of um, promises of total war in the future if this happens. 
key point to be made. Byron York, you always make those points for us. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Thank you, Sandra. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.